Wow, so we're in luck. It looks like Spencer's does have some of the Halloween merchandise that Spirit Halloween possibly will carry this year. I don't think I've seen this Killer Clowns tumbler or this Terrifier tumbler yet either. So maybe this is a first glimpse at some of the Spirit Halloween merchandise. These, however, are the leftover blow molds from last year's Spirit Halloween selection. I don't see anything new in the blow molds. Well, hello again, ghouls and goblins, and welcome back to the channel. Today's spooky adventure brings us to Spencer's. Now, Spencer's is affiliated, as many of you know, with Spirit Halloween. So we're going to see if they have any Halloween merchandise available in Spencer's in the month of July, since we're about a month away before Spirit Halloween has their grand opening in New Jersey. So what are the chances that Spencer's will beat Spirit Halloween to the punch? There's only one way to find out, and that's to join us, if you dare. One, two, spooky five. So we possibly will be trying back to Bath and Body Works since they do have their Halloween collection coming out soon, but it does not look like they have it on display yet because that stuff would easily be visible right there from the, the front display tables that they put out. So I'm sure that that's going to be coming soon, but today's adventure will take us not to Claire's. Even though I think Claire's does Halloween merchandise sometimes. But yeah, this is actually kind of a die-in mall at the same time. This is the mall in Greenville, North Carolina. And it's kind of die-in. But today's adventure is going to bring us to none other than Spencer's. Well, let's go inside Spencer's and see if they have any Halloween merchandise in July. Okay, so naturally, Spirit and Spencer's this year will be sharing some of the same t-shirts, probably like this family photo from 2004 of Chucky, Tiffany, and Glenn or Glenda, whichever you want to refer. And get in, loser, we're going slashing. That's a repeat from last year. However, the Stephen Rhodes Michael Myers is a new addition to the franchise. I don't remember seeing that one last year. If I'm wrong, please sound off in the comments below and let me know. Ghostface, F around and find out. I'm sure that's a new one. These Terrifier shirts dropped earlier this year at Spencer's, but I'm sure they're going to be available at Spirit also. Ghostface, what's your body count? Then there's these new Saul t-shirts because Saul, if I'm not mistaken, last year turned 20 years old. Hard to believe that movie is 20 years old now and it keeps going and going. It's never going to be game over for that franchise. Jigsaw will just keep keep coming up with new traps every year it seems. Ghostface, no surprise, he's going to be another Halloween staple this year as he's referred to as the icon of Halloween. As well as Terrifier, Art the Clown here is becoming quite popular. Some of these were from last year, but I do not remember this one that looks like Stephen Rhodes. Yes, Stephen Rhodes, drop on by the Clown Cafe. I do think that's a new addition this year, as well as this black and white Terrifier t-shirt also. Nightmare Before Christmas as well, and Sam from Trick or Treat encouraged the cowardly dog. And tees now are buy one, get one 30% off. I think that's always the case at Spencer's. These bloody disgusting shirts were exclusive to Spencer's earlier this spring. And here's the Terrifier version. And down here is a Saul version, I believe. These will probably also, no doubt, end up at Spirit Halloween, I'm assuming, because they're like basically sister stores. But pretty well stocked inventory selection here of horror t-shirts inside this location. So if you're looking for one, check it out. There's also some Five Nights at Freddy's. Freddy's said that kind of weird. There's also SpongeBob the Slasher. There's also some Twilight. I'm thinking it's only a matter of time before Twilight makes a resurgence. And just more Five Nights at Freddy's basically. So let's see what else they have hanging around. 
and not that it matters when it's over 100 degrees outside in most parts of the United States right now, but Spencer's does have these fleece horror themed throw blankets like Nightmare Before Christmas, and you saw Ghostface there, and there's Halloween Safety. This one's been around for a while, and all of these also are available at Spirit Halloween. That Halloween 6 has been at Spirit Halloween for the last four seasons, if I'm not mistaken. And there's like this Lucifer type image, I suppose. I can't make out what that is because the lights are glaring on it and I'm looking through tunnel vision here, but here's another Halloween Michael Myers fleece throw also. Again, I don't know who's gonna buy a fleece throw in 100 degree weather, but you know, hey, to each their own. Medusa hoodie, kind of like this goat head hoodie also. And then down here we have a lot of Jack Skellington merchandise like this Jack Skellington hockey jersey. I don't have the hockey jersey, however, if they still have it in stock, I have the basketball jersey. And here's a skeleton style hoodie that Hot Topic used to have years ago, but now it looks like Spencer's is. And th this is the Jack Skellington baseball jersey. So we've seen the hockey jersey and the baseball jersey. Let's see if the basketball jersey is still available because I wear that all the time. Here it is, Master of Fright 93, representing the year that Nightmare Before Christmas came out. And then there's also this flannel shirt that's also pretty cool. And you see stuff like this all the time also at Spirit Halloween. I don't know what this is. This isn't Nightmare Before Christmas. It's just kind of gothic. And then here we go. This is like some of the Spirit Halloween merchandise. You've got this Pennywise mask light, as well as the Jack Skellington mask light, Killer Clowns tumblers, Nightmare Before Christmas tumblers, and a Terrifier tumbler and a Twilight New Moon tumbler. Not gonna go through prices on all this stuff because there's so much stuff to go through here inside of Spencer's, but these are the blow molds from last year. I will tell you this, they were like $22 in spirit, and here they're overpriced at $35. I think this is new, the Killer Clowns from Outer Space Movie Matinee Marquee Light, a light up Scare Bear, I don't remember that. He looks like one of those giant gummy bears. There's the Jason light up hockey mask, as well as a skeleton kitty that's kind of like a play off of scale animals and that creepy looking Cheshire cat. But yeah, this is last year's dead stock. So I'm hoping we get a whole new line of new horror movie blow molds like Michael Myers, Freddy, Jason. All of those would be nice additions to add to the blow mold collection they started last year. Here's the big, I guess you would call it 18, 20 inch Sam sitting doll from Trick or Treat. Another staple at Spirit Halloween every year. It's retailing at like $70 here. And you can't see it up here because of the lights, but there's these little talking Tiffany and Chucky sitting figures. So I'll try to zoom out, but I don't think the lighting is gonna be any more friendly to me if I zoom in or out. But yeah, it's cool seeing some of this Halloween merchandise on the shelves and Spencer's. More stuff that Spirit always sells are these coffee mugs. Here's the Jason with the machete handle. There's Oogie Boogie from Nightmare. There's also Mars Attacks, standard coffee mug. They always have their animatronics the last few years. And we also have this dark roast. You see the witch back there in the background. And right over here, there's Annabelle. I remember her last year at Spirit Halloween also. And then there's this old fashioned black and white TV to represent dun -dun -dun -dun, the Adams family. And mugs are, looks like 50% off if you buy one. Another Oogie Boogie. Winnie the Pooh, he's horror now, right? Blood and honey. And then down here, we've got these little planters of Chucky and Jason. Planters of Chucky and Jason. I guess it's no different than Chia Pets. Also a Killer Clowns from Outer Space coffee mug as well as Annabelle beside it. And then there's this kind of hologram style, beautiful nightmare from Nightmare Before Christmas, as well as the Corpse Bride. And then I believe there's another Nightmare Before Christmas here. And I think I saw one more hiding back here in the background that looks like maybe tarot card designs as well. So a decent selection of horror themed coffee mugs. Check it out if you're at Spencer's. And for more Spirit Halloween merchandise, we remember these little babies of Ghostface last year. There's like these Chucky plush throw pillows. If we look straight back there, 
we won't mention that because that's that can be scary on a whole other level if you if you know about spinsters but anyway here's more of the uh big sam dolls as well as annabelle and they do have the larger scale tiffany and chucky figures however they're not in the chucky are good guys boxes they're just basically loose as well as a loose sam doll as well then there's that smaller version chucky back there also holding the knife and of course here's another look at some of that stuff that i showed you earlier in the video that's kind of new kind of old but you'll most likely see it this year if you visit spirit halloween and it looks like there's a beetlejuice snake there also as well okay so not bad for the month of july we did see a few spirit halloween type items on the shelf already in spencer's but i'm sure the closer we get to halloween spencer's is going to be bombarded with all the creepy stuff that all of us are looking for this spooky season so if you're new here how about slashing that subscribe button and joining the club we do all things spooky here and some things that are not so spooky but still fall in the line of creepy here on the Black Arts Club. So until next time, we'll see you on the dark side.